Mexican food, just bursting with delicious filling and made with real Mexican ingredients. And our new boxes mean a fresh burrito for your appetito. Silly beef and beef burrito for the second burrito. It's fun to eat and eat all. Divorce Court, today at 3. You're late. Well, what happened to you? I'll tell you in a minute. You look pathetic, man. Oh, Lord, thank you. Oh, man, no. Uh, looks like you hit a runner with a cement mixer. I did. Ah, uh, the boot, George. The legs are attached. Right. So what happened? Anyway, where you, where you been? Four cement? Yep, since 6 o'clock this morning. You're kidding me. You actually took that construction job? And now you gotta go back down to the casino, work all night, and get up and pour more cement? How long do you think that's gonna last? Don't move. How'd you like to do a lady a favor? a long congressman, but I finally managed to put together a file on Brooks Turner. I'm sorry, come again? Brooks Turner. Remember you asked... Hey, I remember. What do you got? It's not a lot. First, before we start this, I think you should call the Commissioner of Education. He wants to know if you're going to be at Kelly Harper's unveiling. The mural? It's today at three. This was finished last night. You agreed, I didn't. Do you have any idea what time it is? No, why? Well, your outfit has a certain raffish charm, but I don't think it's suitable to accept the plaudits of the crowd, which will be arriving any moment. I will change in a minute. Well, what are you working on that's... Oh, the child must be very special to you, Kelly. Face is wonderful. You really think so? Could uh, this by any chance be your son? but I seem to be short of cash. What's the matter, Mommy and Daddy out of the country? <laughs> I really would like to play tonight. So I was wondering whether the Golden Mermaid would issue me a line of credit. <sighs> really, I am good for it. I know, but it's not up to me. Oh. This man here, this wreck, <laughs> he has to speak with him. You remember Leanne, right? Golden Mermaid's Lady Luck. You're very hard to forget. As a matter of fact, you've become a mini-celebrity around here. <laughs> Do celebrities get small advances? Any good customer can get credit. All we gotta do is fill out the form. Oof. I'm gonna get there in a minute. Okay. I need... First... Your name. Leanne. Last name. Foster. Address? Well, that depends on when. I mean, I have several places I could give Just you. Just pick a... one. A permanent residence. I guess that would be the farm in Bucks. Bucks. Bucks County. Grange Mill Farm Road, New Hope, Pennsylvania. 13015. 13015. Occupation. Oh, I don't know. Pitfalls, what would you say? 
gambler, playgirl, what? Oh, it seems to me you're too rich to have a job, right? <laughs> Bank references. Oh, I don't mean to be difficult, Mr. McCandless, but which one? I have accounts in ten different banks across the country, then two in Switzerland and... An American other... bank, preferably, and uh, an account number. All right. First Agricultural Bank in New Hope, Pennsylvania. Account number 0151304. 304. Okay, I can have this cleared by tomorrow. No, I'm sorry, that won't do, Mr. McCandless. I want to play now. Today. Yes, well, it's too late to check for references today. I, d I doubt we'll get a reply. I understand, but please, couldn't you just give me a little advance? Tell him I'm good for it. She seems to be loaded. At least her father is. Okay. I can give you 500 hours. I'll take it. All you have to do is just give this to the cashier downstairs. Thank you, Mr. McCandless. You're welcome, Miss Foster. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am going to see if a hot shower can bring this body back to life. Ugh. Thanks, Pitbot. Wait a second. You in some kind of trouble? What kind of trouble? Well, even rich kids can get in over their head once in a while. I know. Oh, from your vast experience with those silly little debutantes? Something like that, yeah. But if that is the case... Then what? Then I don't think you should hang around here anymore. Why, Pit Boss, are you trying to get rid of me? Or are you just starting to worry about me a little bit? What makes you think I have a son? Tricycle in the front yard, baby pictures in the living room few stray toys that you forgot to hide. You're very observant. Can you tell me his name? Scotty, but there are reasons for... Hey. I... I don't want to know them, Kelly. I, I don't care. There is one thing I would like, though. What? To meet Scotty someday soon. When are you making a dozen white roses? Oh, what about the card? Oh, uh, say something like, uh, it's your day, enjoy it. You've worked hard, you deserve the best things that come out of life. Congratulations, Santa Thomas. Gee, maybe I ought to take up painting. White roses have always been my favorite. Oh, Excuse me. Well, hi, Slow, come on in. Am I interrupting? No, no, we're just finishing our hair. Oh, oh really? Dr. McCandless, hi. Uh, do you want those flowers sent to Miss Harper's home or to the mural site? Send it to her house so she has something to come home to, okay? Okay, I'll get right on it. Good. Flowers for Kelly Harper? Yeah. She's unveiling her mural at the education building today. Really? I wonder why I just slipped my mind. Oh, they have been busy. Probably. I wonder if Trey's planning to attend, huh? Well, he is on the Arts Commission, isn't he? Yes, despite the fact I asked him to resign. But he didn't mention a word of this to me. Well, don't do this. Do what? I'm worried that my husband might be seeing the cheap little prostitute. Well, what's the matter? Didn't Trey take you up on your devil's bargain? He did. Okay. And the affair with Kelly's over, isn't it? He assured me that it was. So did Kelly. Now, Kelly, when did you see her? A few days ago. I had to. I had to hear from her mouth that the affair was over between them. And did you? Yes. She don't believe her. I don't know. It's not that, Thomas. Thomas, how do you get over this kind of hurt? One day at a time. Yeah, or not at all. I mean, you are the one who is sending her flowers. Yeah, Sloan. There's one friend to another, that's all. Are you sure that that's it? Yes. Now, Sloan, I'm not going to deny that it hurt. When Kelly walked out, it did. And I blamed her, and I blamed Tran, and I blamed the whole world. Wounds heal. But the fact that she and Trey are not seeing each other anymore, that doesn't change things? No. I'm sorry that she's upset. But I'm not going to go and pick up the pieces. Why? Because you don't want to? Or because deep down you know that it's not over between Sloan, them? why are you doing because this? Because I don't think you're telling me everything. What? Jared Morgan's in therapy demanding you be there. Oh, cry me. Forget the time. Tim will be there ASAP. Uh, he's creating quite a scene. That's okay, Thomas. Go right ahead. I have some place to go anyway. Well, where? Well, the unveiling, of course. Sloan, don't go there. I'll keep you 
updated on Sloan. everything. Come on, let's go see the sweetheart of Sigma Chi. Delicious Pillsbury Pudding Pie. planning to go to the unveiling. I haven't decided. Oh. Well, the commissioner wanted me to remind you that he was hoping you would make some opening remarks about the artist, about the purpose of the Wonderful. Girl. Would you like for me to call him and say yeah, that you're tied no, no, up? No, no, no. I'll take care of it, Maggie. Now, tell me about Brooks Turner. Well, it's all pretty much hearsay for the moment. And although he's quite socially popular here in Washington, there are rumors that he had a shady past in Europe. Really? I couldn't get any particulars, but it had something to do with questionable art dealing. Italy, primarily. Nothing was proven, but there were underground accusations. I see. There was one other tidbit. One person I talked to suggested that he knew Charity Blake in Europe, that they worked together. Was that a reliable source? Reasonably. Congressman, may I ask why all this interest in Brooks Turner? So I'll know what I'm looking for. He's involved in something important to me. I need to know what kind of man he is. So do you want me to keep digging? No, 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 at least not for the moment. That be all? Thank you, Maggie. Fine, Congressman. Don't forget to call the commissioner. The unveiling's at 3 o'clock. Thanks, Maggie. Listen to me. We need a lot of time to sort all those I things out. I have given you two years. You're not getting yes, another. Yes, why? Why, Tilly? You gave me those years. Why? Because you love me. No. You still love me. You just said that. It doesn't matter what I said. The hell, it doesn't matter. What about Scotty? Don't mention Scotty. Why? He's our son. He's my son. You forget about him. You know, I can't forget that. Any more than I can forget about you. Scotty's our son, Kelly. He's the living, breathing proof of our love. No, I know what you're trying to do. I know you're trying to protect yourself from being hurt again. And I don't blame you. But it won't work. I know you want me. And I want you so much, I can't stand no, it. No, it's Take too it right late. Now. It's too late. No, no. No, listen to me, Kelly. Listen to me. The kind of feelings we have for each other don't happen very often. Most of us are lucky if they happen once in a lifetime. We just can't throw them away. No! Oh, the feeling. Do take the feeling. Go back to your wife. That's where you belong. Go back to your wife, Ray. Kelly! Ah, now that's better. I have to admit, I liked you with paint on your nose. <laughs> Are you sure I look all right? Okay does not touch the way you look. You're gonna knock him dead. I just hope the mural knocks him dead. Miss Harper, how are you feeling? Well... This is the grand finale, you know. Mm, do I? If you'd just excuse us for a moment, there's some people I'd like Miss Harper to meet. Brooks Turner, why am I not surprised to see you here? Charity Blake, you're looking lovely as usual. Cut the party manner, Brooks. I want to talk to you a moment, please. And Charity, if it's about my seeing Kelly, I... Look, right now, that's the least of my worries. Now, someone's going around town asking questions about us and our past, and I want to know what it's all about. I have the clue. I have a news flash for you, though. Word has it that Donicelli has just arrived from Paris and has taken up residence at the Clegg Mansion. Sir? So, what's your next move? I don't have one. And I won't until I find out who's so interested in our mutual past. So I suggest it. Miss Harper. Congratulations. I understand this is your big day. Yes, it is. Mm, you must be very proud, Kelly, managing to rise this far. It's quite a climb from the gutter, don't you think? Are you finished? Look at all these people gathered around just to honor you, Kelly. They only knew what I know about you. 
Let me tell you something, Sloan. It's Mrs. Clegg to you. I'm sorry. Mrs. Clegg. You can't get to me anymore. Oh, really? Just watch me, Kelly. And you watch me good, Kelly, because I'll be watching you. Just like you watched me walk down the aisle on my wedding day. You make one mistake, and I'll be there to help you all the way back to the gutter where you belong, Miss Hart. Kelly, send her to Dunlop would like to speak with you. Go right ahead. Your public awaits you, Kelly. Kelly. Mrs. Clegg. Yes. I'm so glad to see you. Is Trey with you? No, he's not. Well, he'll be here, won't he? I'd ask him to say a few words at the unveiling, and I haven't been able to reach him all day. Well, I'm not sure, but look, if you're... If you were in a bind, I would be more than happy to do the honors. If it's crisp like a chicken, but it's not great crisp. It's fun forever. Weekdays. She's still winning. Who? As if I have to ask. Are you falling for this lady? Are you kidding? No. She's beautiful, she's blonde. I haven't known you to pass one of those, Look, this up. is different, okay? Ooh, much worse than I thought. Look, I'm no person to give anybody advice. Majority, if I were you, I would stay away from gambling ladies. They're bad news. Look, I just took her to dinner. How'd that go? Well, not good, really. I mean, she's just another rich kid, you know? Uh, no depth. Talks about the old man's money, name drops all these places around the world. That should sound familiar. She know you're rich? No, she doesn't, and she's not going to find out, and you're not going to tell her. All right, if this lady is so shallow, what makes her so fascinating? What's the difference? I don't know. Good question. That's what I'm trying to figure out, my friend. Some reckless about her, you know? Wally McCamus. You sure? You double-check that? Okay, hold off on that until I get back to you. Thank you. Well, looks like we're having a little problem with your girlfriend. Well, she's not my girlfriend, but what is the problem? That was the casino credit office. The first agricultural bank in Bucks County has no account under the name of Leanne Foster. Mm. Now, why doesn't that surprise me? The numbers didn't check out either. Who are you calling? Information. Yeah, I need New Hope, Pennsylvania, please. Uh, for a foster on Mill Farm Road. Thank you, I see. No foster. No Mill Farm Road, either. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, my God. I can you see that. This could be a rough ride. Ladies and gentlemen, first on behalf of the Department of Education, I'd like to thank you very much for coming to the public unveiling of our mural celebrating those whom we serve, the children. We are also here to honor the artist who executed this massive work for us, Miss Kelly Harper. And now as uh, Congressman Trey Clegg was unable to attend this afternoon, I'm pleased to announce that he sent in his stead his lovely wife and a celebrity in her own right, Sloane Denning Clegg, who will say a few words before the unveiling. Thank you. Thank you. First, let me apologize for my husband's absence, but you congressional wives out there will understand it happens to us all the time. But to the business at hand. First, I would like to say a few words about the artist herself, Miss Kelly Harper. Though she's only recently come to be in the public eye, she's a long and colorful history in our fair city. Many of you here today may not be aware of the fact that she started out... Five minutes late, and look what happened! My wife tries to take my job away from me. My apologies to you all. Despite my, my tardiness, this is one unveiling I would not have missed. The mural I'm about to unveil is dedicated to the children of this country, and so it should be. The children are our hope and our future. This is a very important day for us and for Miss Kelly Harper. Ladies and gentlemen, to the children. Oh.
do you think you were doing? Trey, I was just standing in for you. How thoughtful. Trey, what did you think? I was going to embarrass you in public? Or worse yet, say something less than kind about that hooker friend of yours over there? Would I have been wrong? You don't trust me. No, I don't trust you. And I don't even like you. You'd do anything to get back at me. To win this little vicious game of yours. But it backfired, sweetheart. What is that supposed to mean? You're right? pitiful, you know that? You your hatred, your anger <laughs> has made you what you've called Kelly all along, a tramp.